All right, let's go back now to our top story and the unrest in Sudan. We can speak now to Dr. Al Eldin Nugud, who's a spokesman of the Sudanese Professionals Association, and joins us now from Khartoum. Uh, sir, just give us the very latest on the situation where you are. And what's happening with the fighting? Is it quietly done? Yeah, the fighting uh, is escalating uh, in Khartoum and in other states, unfortunately. And uh, there's still throughout the last night, there is a uh, lot of bombing in the three cities, uh, especially in Umdurman, in the north of Umdurman, where it is the biggest uh, military uh, presence and the military college and so on, in the south of Umdurman, also uh, near to the to the headquarters of the medical military uh, areas. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, it, it, it is um, uh, escalating throughout the night, and uh, also outside in the states uh, in Al Gadarif, also in the in the south uh, in the Blue Nile states in in Kassala. So the gun the gunfire or the bombing is escalating the situation between the rapid support forces and the army. All right, so things, things seem to be getting 60, worse. 60 uh, killed and 600, 600 injured people. It, indeed. Huh? So as things are escalating, what, what about daily life uh, within the city in terms of, you know, electricity supplies and so forth? The, the many places there is shutdown of the electricity and there is no water supply. In many places, in many neighborhoods in the in Khartoum, uh, the capital, whether in Khartoum North Bahri or Umdurman or uh, or uh, Khartoum itself, and, uh, many of the people are complaining of the shutdown of the electricity and the, and the water supply. Is it safe to go outside people at all? People are staying in their houses. Excuse me. Is it safe to go outside? No, no, it's not safe at all to go outside. Even the, even the doctors cannot reach the hospitals. Uh, I cannot be, reach the hospital. And what about getting food supplies and water supplies? Even even the ambulance even the ambulance cannot move in the streets. There, it's a very big mess. Uh, uh, it's something that's horrible, really. What's happening right now in Sudan and Khartoum? And we said in the FFC and the, in the SPA, we said that that the, the political process is the way to get the country out, but nobody was listening. The, the previous Muslim Brotherhood are working for this situation that's happening right now. They work, they have a media campaign for this to happen, for this war to happen between the RSF and the army, and uh, they succeeded at the end of the day. So what do you think can be done to try and resolve this situation? I think the, the 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 effort should continue between the to talk between the two generals to stop to cease fire. The international pressure should continue uh, for that. Uh, uh, and the most important that the, the Muslim Brotherhood should be pinpointed that they are the, the cause of this, and they are the only benefit uh, beneficial body from what's happening right now. And they and this was what they are planning for. Uh, for a long time, since the uh, framework agreements and the final political process started, that Muslim Brotherhood are behind this, and they have some people in the in the military, and they have some people in the in the security forces who are like making the atmosphere uh, favorable for uh, gunfire and for the war. So I think uh, their trial to come back to the show and to come back to ruling uh, is the cause behind all this. Well, both sides, of course, have their arguments, uh, as we'll discover as the day goes on. But for the time being, thanks very much indeed, Dr. Ali Eldin Nugud. Thanks Thank very you. much. Thank you.